Shalom. Grand Rise in Israel. Sharing with y'all today. Coming to y'all live. Uh, Southside Chicago, my hometown. Visiting with some family members, you know. Uh, just sharing with y'all this this little personal uh, sharing video. You know, when I was in this world, and to clarify for some of y'all new viewers, when you hear us Israelite brothers talking about the world and coming out of the world, coming out of the world is uh, an understanding of not believing the lies that's been generationally taught to us over generations and repeating them. This goes for pagan holidays, celebration, when the Bible clearly has holy days we were commanded to keep and none of them are celebrated on earth. But yet we follow in pagan rituals of holy days or holidays. But uh, when I was in this world, being from Chicago and uh, by, by way of uh, East Oakland, California, that's my second home, and now Houston, Texas, uh, the Woodlands area. But when I was in this world, growing up in Chicago and in Oakland, um, I was affiliated with the streets, and my people uh, are still in these streets. So while, while I'm here, I get a chance to top it up with them, and I'm loving it, the, the power of the Most High. Like uh, a lot of my friends had questions because they see the stuff that I'm posting on social media, knowing about uh, <clears throat> excuse me, knowing about uh, how we were brought up, you know, under the uh, curses of Deuteronomy. Them not understanding it, but me knowing now that under the curses of Deuteronomy, how we lived and functioned in this world, being below the uh, heathen as we were sent into captivity under. So this time I'm in Chicago, it's amazing because my, my, like I said, my peers, my day ones, we finally sitting down, chopping it up, having a beer and talking. And uh, I get to, you know, I can't help it, but tell them and inform them of certain things that's going on in this world. And that's in the Bible. Like, yeah, yeah. So long story short, man. I'm sitting back and chopping up with my boy Buck. You know, we we when we was in this world, you know, CVL affiliated, Southside Chicago. So we do a little uh chopping it up, telling war stories and that thing. So I bring up you know this this truth and relating it to how we lived and the stories that we sharing right now and everything. And my my guy, his name Buck. <clears throat> he's sitting back and he says to me. Man, man, that's deep, man. I'm a, you keep telling me these stories, man. And I'm like, I can't believe this stuff. And he said, man, I'm going to have to get me one of them books. And he said it like three times. And I'm like, what you talking about one of these books, book? Book, this, uh, that's the Bible. Yeah, yeah, but uh, that ain't no Bible I ever heard of. And I was, I, I'm amazed, man, because this is how genuine this awakening is, you know. I said, bro, if you go upstairs right now and uh, cousin Tammy, that, that Bible, that's the same Bible. <laughs> and he was like, no, man, I ain't never heard none of that, man. I, was like, I said, Buck, this is the thing. We've been following religion. That's what Jeremiah 23 talks about, that he's going to pay a special visitation upon the, the uh, pastors who misled his sheep. They're not going to tell you the truth of who you are. That book says God of the Hebrews. All through the book, it says Israel, God of Israel. That's you. I said, your church will not tell you none of this. I said, now, if you can't take this, what well, we sitting here and pondering on, and next time you attend church or, or come across a pastor, because they all through our neighborhoods. We run into them in the liquor store. You know what I'm saying? Buying, paying, playing lottery tickets, you know, at the eateries, et cetera. I said, you approach him and you ask him, are there 12 gates and pillars to heaven? Is it true that there's 12 tribes of Israel? Is it true 
that the largest pyramids and oldest pyramids on the planet are in Mexico? Is it true that the native Indians burial grounds consisted of Hebrew writings? Is it true that they know who we are? Is it true that God has a chosen people? If they can't answer any of these questions without juggling a direct answer, who is Esau? Who is Jacob? These pastors have no shame. And if you don't come out of these churches, they're, they're sacrificing your soul. You're going to go, you're slated to go where they're going. They want company. Misery likes company. You know, me and him sitting down, and I'm telling him about Father Flager here in Chicago. How, excuse me, him as a so-called man of that book, and what his actual job is, he's snatching souls. He's congregating with these brothers in a world of sin, when they die, he, him being responsible for their souls, and he might not even be ministering to them, but he's in contact with them. They know of him. He's trying to give them the good word to put down the gun and all this, but he's not telling them who they are. You can't be a man of God reading out of that book 10, 20, 30 years and not know who God's people are. If you haven't read Deuteronomy, what are you doing? And also, him being a Gentile, so-called white man, if he's read that Bible and haven't came across Obadiah, you can YouTube it. The Vision of Obadiah on YouTube. View that video, get your Bible, and open up and read it word for word. And you tell me that Father Flager and the likes of him don't know who we are and who they are. And what God said he's going to do to them. Next. For what Esau done to his brother, Jacob. Yes, us. And Jacob, being of the 12 tribes. Uh, Venezuelan, being uh, Asher, the tribe of Asher. Look at what they're doing in the media right now with uh, so-called Trump, the Edomite, disrupting another government. In your brother's calamity, you continue to prosecute and set traps. What you're doing to Istakar, the so-called Mexicans, right now. And our people are going through their curses of Deuteronomy only because you continue to follow the heathen and not come back to the laws and commandments of the Most High, whereas he moves this world out of your way. We're under the curses and punishment of our forefathers being the seeds of our forefathers who were punished. Long as you cleave into this world and following their God and their heathenish ways, you're subject to all those curses of Deuteronomy. That book, Bible has nothing to do with religion at all. That book is about the 12 tribes of Israel, the laws and commandments they were supposed to keep, and the punishment that would befall them if they failed to keep. So, like I said, I'm sitting back chopping it up with my, my, my people. And it's amazing because I'm answering all the questions they've always had. The same as me before I came upon this truth. And I'm explaining it to them like I'm 48. In the last three years, I've had so many friends that died at, between the ages that seem like of 41 and 46. And... It's because of what Esau is doing in this world, poisoning us, because we don't know no better. Sin is when you take in Satan's creation. Satan wanted to be like God. So when you're taking in sin, you're poisoning your body. You will get death. Satan wanted to be like God. So let me give you an example of that. Someone had breast cancer, and they mentioned to me, I just want to thank the Most High for not taking me out for sinning. And I was like, man, what do you mean by that? I, I, I didn't get that. And she explained, 
that she had been taken in this world. When she was in this world, she was taking Satan's creation, birth control. And that's how she got the cancer, the sin. Satan is purposely was Esau Edom, the so-called white man ruling. Not, not for you average Edomites who don't have a heart that can relate to that. If that's not you, don't don't put your feet in the shoes. Tell me that Esau is a nation. Esau is doing so much evil on this planet, you know. Um, lost my train of thought for a minute, but okay. Poisoning us. And let me let me tell you this, a truck driver. I go to this place one day and I'm picking up uh, this product. Come to find out it's granulated to powder plastic. And it's all over this warehouse, white powder and stuff. People riding around with face masks on and everything. So I'm like, you know, stepping this stuff. I didn't want this on my, on my truck. So I asked the guy, what is this stuff? He says, oh, man, that's in everything. That's in your chewing gum, your cell phones, your food. I said, man, what the hell are they putting in your food that they put in your cell phones? He said, it's a preservative, a for, uh, flavor enhancer, the et cetera. You know, so for gum, it makes it last long. For your cell phone, it hardens as a plastic. I guess if it's heated at a certain temperature. And your food, it preserves the food so that it won't decay. Be in a raw state as fast. This is what the FDA is okaying. Because if it don't kill you overnight, but it kill you in 20 years, it's okay. Yeah okay to, and regulated to put this in your food. This is how they they contaminate in our body. We're not supposed to eat pork. The Most High got a dietary law that we're supposed to follow. When you take in pork, you're allowing sin in. We have heart disease, diabetes, cancer, now autism. All this is because you're taking in sin. Satan's creation, man-made creation. We're not supposed to eat watermelons without seeds. Every fruit has seeds. That's God's creation. When you're taking in fruit that's genetically produced that don't have seeds, you can get cancer from it. These are all created by man. Esau eat them. This is why the Most High said he hated Esau. Because he sees this evil on this planet. And if you read Obadiah, you see the destruction that's come to him and why he said so. But anyway... I'm chopping it up with my buddy and telling him about this, you know, because like I said, I had a lot of friends died in their 40s. And I, I'm just not realizing why. Because over the years, we've been consuming all this fast food. they poisoning us. And, you know, they make the food convenient. Five-dollar meals, you know what I'm saying, ready fries and a pop and everything. And over years of consuming this stuff, it's killing you. It's a process of elimination. You know, this, this is what they're doing. You know, you can't enter the kingdom with pork in your system. Well, they genetically altered pork into a dye. I think it's red 15 or C15, something like that. If you look on the back of a product, if it's got something of red candy with that coated on there, you Google that, it's pork. They put it in Benadryl. They put in pork in Benadryl. You could got red dye. Anywhere from a pig, besides a pig, they're contaminating us. This is what Satan does. So, like I said, I'm sitting back chopping it up with my buddy, man, and explaining all this stuff to him. He, and when he said that about he has to get one of those books and everything, I'm like, dude, you know, watch watch a couple of videos from these brothers at GOCC and open your Bible. See it for yourself, you know? And... We get caught up in the world with understanding of what this awakening is because the media wants to put their attention on groups like ISPUK, uh, IUIC, uh, brothers with an aggressive message of being of the waking of Israel. You know, they want to put it on there so that the world, because this worldly understanding of division, want to make it seem like it's a black thing when Israel. It's all brown and black nations of this planet, excluding the Hamites, who are the Africans, which all 12 tribes of Israel, brown and black nations, are Shemites. Look into the three sons of Noah, Jephthah, Ham, 
and Shem. And Japhetic people originally also being a, a melanated. All three sons of Noah were melanated. But Japhet was originally melanated. Now they're not. Who are the so-called Japanese Japhetic people. Uh, and they also have some Caucasian uh, or pale-skinned uh, people of Japhetic which are not Esau. But that's nevertheless, um, like I said, I'm not a teacher or a preacher. If you want more information on that, look into GOCC. They got a lot of study. Uh, all this is Bible truth. No man-made doctrine that they're sharing and they're showing and proving all things. But nevertheless, the media want to use those brothers of uh, ISUPK and brothers like that. To show the more aggressive of our brothers waking, which, okay, if you're in this world and that's how you want to look at it, are you excluding what these brothers have been through in this world? They got them in them, they feelings like that. What started all this? Can you show us anywhere in history where a nation of Shemites or Hispanics? or so-called black African-Americans who we know now as Judah, a nation of those, any of those nationalities of the 12 tribes have just eradicated a nation of people or attempted to exterminate a nation of people. How, 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 how you weigh that? You want to weigh hate? You want to weigh hate? So get out of your feelings with that. Come out of the world. Come into the truth. So, this visit of mine has been really, really, really all praise to the Most High. I'm enjoying it. I'm not making no money right now because if my wheels ain't turning, I ain't earning. But I don't mind. All praise to the Most High because I'm seeing the greater reward in His works. Because I'm able to touch my brothers who've been watching me on social media for almost three years now. Do a total 360 and not understand what's going on. They thinking I'm on some religious sabbatical. And when I'm explaining now, because I got the time, when they seeing and hearing it in the real, everything making sense. I'm able to reach out to my people. The most high allowed this man. It ain't no money that I'm missing right now. Uh, can can sway me to miss it at all. I'm loving this sitting down here in the basement. That's what I love about Chicago, that basement, basement atmosphere, you know. And uh, I'll be leaving here. I'll be heading uh, somewhere down south and hopefully see my family over there in Arizona and Phoenix. And uh might hit the West Coast. I'll do another video out there from Oakland. I did a couple of, when I was out there visiting my cousin over there. And uh, yeah, I'm loving this, man. It's awakening. Like I say, all things make sense now. Everything is explained. It's just, it's just beautiful. Yes. So, uh, you know, going back into some more storytelling, telling war stories with my boy Buck. Uh, that's that's him calling now. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm going to call him back. I'm almost done. But, uh, yeah, this this time home going into the stories though you know what I'm saying and uh like I'm explaining to him you know Deuteronomy and talking about the curses and how we going through okay giving examples of God's power and what he's doing as long as you've lost in this world and still following the heathen you're subject to all these curses don't matter who you are the innocent of our people those even doing wrong or Willingly falling in healing or innocently of this world, as long as you don't know who your God is, you're subject to all the curses. So I was giving an example of the signs of his power. And I was telling him about how to shoot in Vegas. That's displaying what he's doing to Esau Edom. He said he would have them turn on themselves. That shooter in Vegas, he was a millionaire, didn't have no debt. When they got his woman back from Philippines, she said he was having nightmares, waking up, sweating and everything. Sent her off to the Philippines, bought her a house, told her to stay there, and went and did his business on his own people. Before that, he had scouted out Lala Lapuza, 
in Chicago. But the Most High said, no, I need you to do your own people at a country western gathering. So when the investigation started, they can't say nothing of you no know, racial uh, issue or something of this world that can throw you off with some confusion uh, of, of their confusion to add to their illusion of why this is it. They know exactly what that man was under the power of the Most High. They know exactly. They just ended his that investigation like three days ago with no conclusion. They, they don't have no answers. That's the power of the Most High. Then I was telling him about how they had the school shooting out in there when 17 people got killed. And the Most High is dropping names. Okay, the cop that was in charge of that, and they were trying to reprimand him because he had a slow police response, etc. His last name is Israel. Our people. You're still subject to these curses, subject to get shot in the middle of the street, uh, legally owning a gun, being a security guard, riding in the front seat of a car with a legally owned gun. He punishes us. The cop killing him. Yeah, so this is my brother's book. He just walked in. So uh, this, this, this guy, Shim. Small interruption. Okay, so uh, the shooting in, in Dallas. You had the uh, Edomite lady came downstairs, being a police officer she was, come downstairs and shoot the, her neighbor and everything. These are, these are the curses that's upon us as a people. That guy was killed. Nobody paid attention to his middle name. Who are the three sons of Noah? Jeff, Ham, and Shem. The Sh Shem is the progenitor of the Shemites. Israel. That brother that was killed, his middle name was Shem. This is all being laid before you. But nevertheless, uh, my family members just came down, man. And I'm, I'm going to spend some quality time with them and everything. I'm just loving it, man. It's fish tank and everything. But, um, yeah, all praise due to the Most High, Higher, Baha Shem Mishai. It's beautiful out here. Love my people. But uh, pay attention, man. Just some information. Um, man, I know it's something else I want to say. Let me, let me, let me, give me a minute. Yeah, that's, that's, that's about it, man. You know, I'm, I'm trying to cover everything. I'll be looking at my videos and trying to see what material I, I have delivered. Uh, like I said, I'm not a preacher or a teacher. I'm, I'm, I'm getting this, I'm a babe in this, man. I'm getting this, this milk. You know, working my way to the meat. If I never get to the meat, I'll be okay with that. I just want to make my people, wake my people at, at the lowest state of this world, you know, and letting them understand and seeing everything makes sense. And this is why it's happening. The purpose for it all. You know, I got a lot of people that's atheists that come on my posts and, and say things about God don't exist. You know, and the, the amazing thing about that, that a lot of my Edomites, so-called white folks, they don't believe in God. And this is probably why he said he hated Esau, because they're not appreciative as a nation. Not all of them I want to reiterate that, because some people get in their feelings. But if you get let, if you get in your feelings about some of this stuff, it must pertain to you. But anyway, a lot of them being so-called white people that don't believe in God. And this, this is why God, I can see why he says he hated Esau because they're not appreciative. Here it is, they have the dominion of the earth. And as a nation, they've never tried to do anything to, to balance it out or be appreciated, be appreciative of taking that position. And and not appreciated of not appreciative of the entitlement. For you to sit up here and say, as an atheist, a white atheist. Because they got the uh, lost Israelites who, who claim to be atheists too, following the heathen. But you're not appreciated of nothing because you're not subject to getting shot as a people, as a nation, just minding your business. But you say there's no God. Read over Dyer. All of you. Find out who you are as a people. If you came in on that slave ship uh, via, uh, you know, family-wise, 
generational. If your family came off the slave ship, you were Israelite. And, uh, you know, the facial hair distinctions, afros, dreads, beards, distinguishes that as a nation. As a nation, Hamites can't grow facial hair, beards, and afros, and dreads. You've never seen that over time as a nation. Yes, we are different. Yes, they did sell us into slavery. They knew we were who we were. But anyway, uh, it was just on the tip of my tongue what else I wanted to share. This, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, dealing with the atheists, you know. People get so wrapped up in this world. And this, this, is, this world has been all of Israel's problem. This has been our biggest hurdle. But the power of the Most High was written in that book. And I'm not talking what pastors talk about. They are not reading out of that Bible. They plagiarized the understanding of that Bible. That Bible is not a religious tool at all. It's about the 12 tribes of Israel. The laws and commandments they're supposed to keep. And the punishment to be them if they didn't keep those laws. So if you can read your thought, your programming, how you've been compromised to believe that anything comes out of that book is of religion. Yes, they use it for that, but that was not its intended purpose at all. So with that, I'm thinking of covering everything. I'm uh, talking about the atheists. <clears throat> That I'm gonna say all praise due to the most high higher Baha Shem Yashai. Love my people. Wake up Israel. It goes for all of you, Puerto Ricans, Native Indians, Hispanics, Venezuelans, Haitians, Jamaicans, and us brothers here in America. So-called Negro, Judah. Shalom.